welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I wanted to hop on and do a quick tanning routine video. I always get questions. I think I've gotten questions about like which fake tan I use and how I apply it ever since I started YouTube years ago. Um, and you guys know I'm either like ghostly pale or I'm really tan. I hardly ever am in between because I rarely go out in the sun now that I have a baby. And honestly, I just don't like laying out in the sun anymore because I used to do like that whole tanning bed thing back in college. And I noticed that I got like more freckles that way. And that kind of freaked me out because I definitely don't want to get skin cancer or anything like that. So anyways, now I just do it at home and it's so easy. I wanted to talk to you guys about my tips as far as like self tanning with a baby because if you guys co-sleep or bed share or whatever you want to call it, um, you definitely lay next to your baby like skin to skin a lot. So you don't really want to like obviously have that tan transfer on the baby and you want to choose a tan that is natural based. So yeah, that's what I'm going to talk about today and I'm actually partnering up in this video um, with tan Suticles. They're sponsoring this video and you guys know that I've used their tan for the last year um, So yeah, I wanted to talk about it and I wanted to demonstrate like before and after and how I don't get streaky This is the second day wearing their tan and as you can tell I'm still super bronze But the first thing I like to do is use their this is called their pre tan exfoliator An exfoliator is a must I'm sure you guys already know if you fake tan because if you have any like leftover residue from the last tan that you have It's just gonna cling to the new um, application that you're putting on and you're gonna have like patchy spots all over your body which is not cute this is nice because it smells like apricot and it really like gets your old tan off and it also just like gets off all the dead skin cells that you have left over on your body the other thing that is seriously a holy grail when it comes to tanning is an exfoliator mitt um, I just get mine really cheaply off Amazon this is from a brand called derma Surrey and it just looks like this mine gets super nasty so this is a new one and I purchased this one twice so I really do like it because it's seriously just like after I do the exfoliator later it really does like an extra layer of deep exfoliation and it's nice also on your feet if you have like dry skin on your heels and you want to have like nice summer like feet and legs so I will link this one below as well along with all the products so the first thing I like to do right before I apply the self tan is just apply regular lotion to any of the places on my body that might have the tan stick to it a little bit more. When I don't do this, I tend to have really dark elbows, knees, and feet. So yeah, I basically just apply just regular Aveeno lotion to those areas just to make sure that it is moisturized enough to where the tan doesn't cling to any of the dry patches. So my personal favorite tan from Tanceuticals is their CC Color and Correct Fake Tan. And I also have it in the color Ultra Dark. It comes in a few different shades, but they honestly have one of the darkest tans that I found on the market. Which you guys know I love to look like I just came back from Hawaii or Bora Bora when I do a fake tan because it does take some extra time. So when I'm applying fake tan, I want to look as dark as possible, but without looking orange. So my favorite way to apply this self tanner, since it is a lotion, I like to use a glove just because that way it can evenly disperse your tan and you don't have any streakiness or patchiness that might come with using a glove. Something that is really great about using a Tanceutical self tanner over any of the other ones out there is that they have really good ingredients. All of their ingredients are natural. So they have things like acai berry, aloe vera, cocoa seed butter, grapeseed oil, and things like that. And I also find that having those really natural ingredients in my sunless tanner not only moisturizes my skin, but it also helps my tan last longer. Like I said, I like to apply my fake tan in the morning and then at night, since I wear makeup all day, I will take off my makeup really gently, making sure not to get any drips like on my body. Although if I did get drips, it stayed there for a few hours, so it's probably not gonna streak. Um, but I like to apply their self-tanning face lotion. And this is nice because it gives you like a really natural um, like tan on your face. As you can tell, I look like super bronze, but it doesn't look orange. It looks more of like an olive tone. Um, and yeah, you just need a little dime size amount and you can also mix this in with your moisturizer if you want an even more natural look. So this is what my tan looks like after the next day. If you guys are wondering what all these dark spots are, I promise you it's not the tan. You guys will probably know that it's the bug bites that I got in Memphis when I went. It's super natural looking and yeah, I really like it. But as you can tell with Tanceuticals, I don't have like the nasty fake tan hand. It looks super natural. Um, so yeah, that is nice as well. And then the other thing that I like to do right after, or I guess the next morning after I apply my tan, is I apply their Post Tan Everyday Tan Extender. This one has really good ingredients like shea butter, aloe vera, pomegranate extract. Um, and the best part about it is that it has a little touch of DHA, which is basically the ingredient that makes you have like a tan. So it's almost like a gradual tanner. Um, and sometimes I like to use this on its own, even if I 
I don't have like a fake tan going on um, just because it makes me look even more natural and it makes me just have like a touch of glow but you guys this one is so good at helping maintain your tan I never used to use like tan extenders in the past and I found that my tan just faded a lot faster but now that I've been using this one um, my tan has stayed a lot longer what are you doing there little baby I'm about to give her a bath hence why she's naked hello there say hello she's like pay attention to me mommy <laughs> I am doing a giveaway with Tanceuticals to win um, a free tan and I will link below um, all the products that I'm giving away along with the rules if you guys want to enter. So that's about it for this video. If you guys liked it then give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to my channel if you are new and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys! Say bye!